Well, hey everybody, welcome to the rebroadcast of ours absolutely, totally, and completely spontaneous AMA. So this is an Ask Me Anything session, uh, and it was not planned. We have not let anybody know that this is happening. I just jumped onto Instagram Live here, and I thought I would answer a few questions. I've been getting some really great questions from you guys this week, and I want to answer a couple of those. We're going to give it a second for everybody to get signed on, because you know, Instagram, sometimes it takes a minute. But we are going to be answering your questions today, because it is just about time for Christmas. We are just a few days out. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh, we're doing a live Ask Me Anything, so if you have questions for me about me as an author, my books, or life in general, or books in general, feel free to hit up my comments and let me know. Leave me lots of hearts and love and all of that fabulousness. Um, so yes, tell me, tell me what questions you have and I will get this answered for you. I have been getting some questions this week, and the first one uh, was about when the final book in... The Golden Trilogy comes out. I know I've got some new fans recently. Um, they want to know more about Goldilocks and our three bears. Uh, the final book in this trilogy does come out on January 30th. Uh, that is just over a month from now. It is currently at the printers. We're waiting for the proof to be sent so that we can okay that from the printer. And I'm so dang excited. Um, you finally get to see what happens to Goldilocks and Baby Bear. And you get to see who survives. So it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really interesting. I've got some great feedback from people who have already read it. My my early, early, early readers. <sighs> but you will be able to experience the end of the Golden Trilogy soon. So that is coming out soon-ish. Now I know some of you have been watching. I have been working on right now uh, writing the last book in the Jaded Duology. Which is my... Um, young adult dystopian uh, that has been compared to Mr. and Mrs. Smith, so that movie that was really popular a few years back um, because of all the conspiracy and we don't know who's on whose side and who's going to murder who and who may live and may not live. Um, so Jaded has gone over so, so well. I am currently writing the sequel. I'm writing it right now. In fact, I paused writing so that I could jump on and take some questions from you guys. So go ahead and leave me some comments. Uh, leave me your questions, and I will happily answer those for you. Um, I feel like we're having some trouble with Instagram right now because people are bouncing in and out. So you guys just um, let me know if you can, if you can comment. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But I would love to hear from you guys, so go ahead, give me your questions. I'm going to be here for a few minutes to answer those. Um, and we had some great questions written in. I know that some of you have recently discovered some of my social media, so I wanted to take just a second and talk about that while we are still waiting for people to get signed on, because you know Instagram takes forever to notify people, so we are going to give it just another minute or two for people to get on if they want to join us. Again, this was a totally spontaneous thing. I realized that because Christmas is just a few days away, my schedule is about to get absolutely crazy and I'm not going to be able to do my normal live broadcasts after today. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yandel, yes, I'm so glad you're here. It's an AMA. Ask me questions. Um, so, hey. Uh, yeah, ask me questions. I'm answering questions right now. It's a totally spontaneous ask me anything because uh, the next couple of days are going to be crazy. My dad's birthday is tomorrow, so we're doing a whole birthday celebration dinner thing. Next day, I'm taking my little cousin Christmas shopping. And then the next day, my sister and her husband and her dog arrive. So it's going to be madness from this point on all the way through after Christmas. So I knew I was not going to get to jump on and answer questions because I'm going to have a very loud house very soon. <laughs> so I wanted to jump on and take some Ask me anything questions from you guys. So if you have questions, if you got comments, if you want to chat, go ahead, hit me up, and we will chat. Um, like I said, I know some of you have recently discovered my social media, so I do want to tell you a couple of things that are newer that you may not know about on my social platforms and on my website. So I've been talking about my world portals a lot over on my website. I have opened up these brand new world portals where you can learn more about all of my books. I was going to hold them up, but I decided not to. Um, you can learn about all of my books, all of my series, and... I do videos and photos that I have like composited together to create the worlds of the stories. We have fan art, there's behind the scenes stories and facts and things I don't post other places. All sorts of things in these world portals so you can go hang out with that. Over on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash books, you can actually send me a DM and you will get a list of things to choose from. We can talk about bonus scenes, so you can get bonus scenes over there. We can talk about book boyfriends. Um, 
you can do all sorts of things through my bot assistant over on my Facebook page, so come hang out with me over there and get all sorts of fun and fabulous things, uh, and play my interactive choose-your-own-adventure games, too, which is really, really cool. You can help save Jade from being murdered, you can go on a mission with Illyria to find the location of the bears, and you can try to join the Legends and get past Muffet and Spider and join the Ultimate Hacker Ring, so there's all sorts of fun, fabulous things you can play over on, um, over on my Facebook page. Uh, so Yano says, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Um... Gosh, that's a hard one. Um, usually, we have... Hey, Jess, we're doing an AMA. Ask me questions. It's totally impromptu and spontaneous. I didn't have this plan, but I realized I have a crazy schedule after today, so I better do it right now or I won't be able to do it till after Christmas. Um, so, favorite Christmas tradition. Usually, we go to my dad's mother and father's house on Christmas Eve, and we hang out with that side of the family. Then Christmas morning, we hang out at my house. And then Christmas afternoon, we go, would go over to my mom's mother's house, and we would have Christmas Day over there. And then we would hang out and maybe go sledding or ice skating uh, and things like that. So that was always lots of fun for me. Always lots of fun. Uh, who's my ultimate book boyfriend? That's a hard question, Yentl. I don't know. <laughs> Can I pick my own? Um, you guys know... I kind of adore one of my book boyfriends, like adore, adore, <laughs> so that that would be my choice, um, but if I can't pick my own, I'm a big fan of Four from Divergent, even though he doesn't listen to Triss, he needs to learn to listen to Triss, because the girl knows what she's talking about, he just doesn't listen. Um, I'm also a big fan of Cole from Branded, which is part of a Sinner series, uh, which is by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalakiki, I hope I said your name right, sorry. <laughs> um, love him, love him. Like adore him. You should read that series, Gentle. You should you should read that series because you would love it, and we could just have great conversation about this <laughs> series. So you should check that out. Remind me, I'll uh, I'll send you some info on it later because it's good. It's good. I still haven't read the third book. Oh, shame on me. It came out. It was like a surprise release this summer because the authors got their rights back from um, the publisher they had previously been working with, and it was the bad dramatic thing. Um, but they got it back, and then they surprise released the story, and. I haven't read it yet. I haven't had a second to even breathe or sleep, much less read something for fun. So, um, I haven't read it yet. But yeah, definitely, definitely Cole from Branded. You know who else I like? This is a little controversial. I'm a big fan of Gale from The Hunger Games, except in, like, the end of the third book. I'm a big fan of Gale. And I know I've raised Team PETA. I'm not. Oh, and Aspen from the Selection series. I'm a big fan of Aspen. I've always been Team Aspen, not Team Maxon. Uh, and people argue with me about that. I try not to argue. I don't. I don't like fighting over these things. But people have strong opinions on that one. I am Team Aspen. <laughs> uh, let's see. You like Peta? I know you like Peta. Um, okay, hold on. Let me scroll back up because I know I missed things. Um. What would Aluria do for Christmas? Oh, I love this. Okay, so Aluria uh, and Dove, if they were going to be celebrating Christmas kind of like in our modern times, um, they would they would hang ornaments on the tree and put the lights up, and they would open presents, I think one on Christmas Eve and, one, and the rest of them Christmas morning. Uh, they would hang out with Berwyn and Eden, and then uh, Rayla and Silas, and um, Justin and Devin and Tally, they would all come over and we'd all hang out. Uh, Illyria and Rayla would probably start singing and try to get everybody to join along, and only Dove and Silas would because, <laughs> well, and Justin. Probably, maybe Devin. It'd be interesting. Um, so they would definitely kind of hang out and celebrate just the, their tight little group, probably at the Bears' house. Um, you know, if it still exists. We really don't know at this point, because, you know, there's a war going on, so who knows. Um, but yeah, they would definitely hang out together, and it would be lovely and charming and delightful. And I have actually thought about this. <laughs> I was going to do a series of blog posts interviewing my characters, and I was going to do a blog post with a Christmas party with all of my characters there, like everyone from Jaded, everyone from Golden, everyone from The Legends Chronicles. Um, but I just kind of ran out of time, so I didn't get to do it. But in my head, all of this stuff has happened, and it's been absolutely beautiful. So if you keep on my case, I might actually write that out for you. Um, otherwise, you're just going to have to deal with this. Uh, let's see. 
I just switched on some LED tea lights because I'm in a festive mood. Well, yay, that's exciting. I I was going to try to get lights. I actually have a string of lights somewhere. I don't know. I was going to hang them up, but I wasn't planning on going live, so I didn't have it ready for this one. Next time. Uh, just liked Gail, too. I liked Gail from The Hunger Games. I really, really did. I liked him a lot until the very end when he kind of went off the deep end just a touch. And I think, I feel like, per like this is my personal opinion, but I feel like she did that because she had to, because it had to be a very clear line that she was going to pick Peta. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Hit me up. What other questions do you guys have? We can talk about Christmas, we can talk about books, we can talk about my books, we can talk about author things. Um, I may have just announced to some of my authors that I am putting together a really special project for 2018. I personally am creating and curating three different anthologies. I will not tell you what they are. I will not tell you how to access them. I will not tell you how to find them. But if you are an author who is looking to get involved in anthologies, Hit up my DMs and I will send you some information. There are three opportunities for you to get involved in my uh, anthologies. I know there's other anthologies out there. I am involved in other anthologies next year, but I am offering three opportunities to get involved in anthologies in 2018. And I think they're going to be really good. I already have people who are um, talking about being involved and they're working on their stories and they're getting ready. So it's just been released. Um, only a few people know I haven't officially, officially announced it yet, but it is coming. And it's so dang good. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. And yes, I did design the covers. Yes, they are created. And yes, they are gorgeous. Um, what's your favorite ice cream? And what would Aluria and Jay's be? Oh, that's a good question, Jess. Um, I do like ice cream. I don't have it an awful lot, but I do. I'm a big fan of ice cream. But I am a very simple person when it comes to ice cream. I like vanilla. <laughs> I know, which is like, could you get any more vanilla than vanilla? But I love vanilla, and I'm n I don't really do too much for other flavors. So when I go, um, like we've got two different ice cream shop type things. Um, what do you, I don't even know what to call them because they're not. It's not like it's a cutesy little shop. It's just like a building where they sell ice cream. <laughs> it's it's an ice cream store or a shop something. Um, so when we go, I either get vanilla with peanut butter dip. Um, which is amazing. It's like a hard shell of peanut butter on top of your soft strip ice cream. It's just so good. Um, or I like to get like a flurry with Reese cups in it. So vanilla ice cream and then the Reese cups. Love it. Also a big fan of vanilla milkshakes. I don't do, then this is going to surprise you, I don't do whipped cream or cherries or sprinkles or any of that. Like you would think, look to look at me, I'd be all like, oh, girly and all that loveliness. I don't. I'm just very plain and simple about this stuff. Um, oh gosh, lots of questions. Okay, this is good. This is good. Um, so, so wait, go back. Uh, favorite ice cream flavors for Aluria and Jade? Um, well, they would definitely like vanilla. Um, I feel like Jade would like kind of like a sherbet type thing. Um, Aluria... She would probably like like vanilla with like nuts on it, chopped nuts or something, or maybe like some strawberries, some fruit on it. That would all be good. Um, and because I actually don't have good answers for this, I'm going to move on quickly and hope you don't notice. <laughs> um, would Dove hang up mistletoe? I feel like this is a very important question. Uh, Yentl, I don't think it's a question. I think it's a statement. Dove would hang up mistletoe and and that is the end of the discussion because it's dumb bear. He would. He absolutely would. He would find Aluria, get her in a room, hang up the mistletoe, and that would be the end of the discussion. <laughs> also, it would not be the worst thing in the world. That's all I'm going to say. Moving on. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you have a specific Christmas decoration or a specific Christmas decorations for your living room? Mine is Nordic. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds fancy. I'm not even sure what that entails. Like, I feel like you need to describe that to me or send me pictures or something because that sounds really cool, but I have no idea. Um, typically, we choose, like, a color theme for my house, and so some years it'll be, like, red and gold or red and silver, silver and gold, blue and silver, and it kind of varies year to year depending on what we are doing. Um, this year, this year we have reds and golds and greens. 
So this year's a little bit different. Um, because my dad is sick, we didn't pull out all of our Christmas decorations. So we have um, some things that we were easily able to get our hands on from our decorations. And my grandmother had actually passed away earlier this year. And so we have some of her Christmas decorations. So we actually set up her tree, which is a tiny tree. Not like tiny, tiny, but like tiny compared to ours. Like you put it on a table and it goes up to the ceiling. Uh, so we went and bought some little little ornaments to go on it because we don't use the big ornaments on the tinier trees. So it's red and green and gold. It's kind of cute and pretty. Um, let me see. Uh, that's okay. Plain vanilla can be really good. It is really good. And I like it. And I'm very simple with my foods. Or that kind of food. Not all foods. You know what I get fancy about? My salads. I get very fancy with my salads. And, like, I put all sorts of gourmet stuff in my salads. <laughs> that's just the way I am. Um, just noticed something. I don't know what you noticed, but you noticed something. Oh, the the moving on. I'm with you now. Uh, you can see Alaria with some kind of apple dessert inspired ice cream. You know what she would love to have like um like a baked apple with ice cream on it. Like that would be so her. I actually did back when I was doing book snack sat or book snack Saturday. I did uh, a baked peach with ice cream on it for Jade. And that would so be her. Like, she would have the peach, Aluria would have the apple, and they would both have vanilla ice cream with, like, some chopped nuts on it. It would be so good. It was so good. I ate it. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, it's red and white. You will send some photographs. Cool. Uh, if you were a mermaid, what color would your tail be? Yes, girl! Yes! I love bringing up mermaids. Um, speaking of which, remind me to tell you something mermaid related later. Um, my tail, if I, if I had a choice, I would probably go with like a purple or a lavender-y color tail, um, maybe with some silver in it. I think that'd be really, really pretty. In fact, remind me to show you something later because I have an actual picture of what I would love my tail to look like. Um, I can also see like a, like a light icy blue color or like a dark teal color. Teal might not be the word I'm looking for but like a dark blue, like Christmas colors, like the icy blue and the dark blue. I just, I feel like that'd be really pretty. So purples or blues, I think would be my tail. If I had to say, I would probably end up with like orange or something with my look. <laughs> uh, Jess has yum. Yes, yum. Very, very good food. Back when I was doing book snack Saturday, that took up all kinds of time. And, and obviously I don't have time for that right now. So I don't have any more book snack stuff, but fun times. I am definitely sitting here playing with my scarf. This is one of my jaded inspired scarves. Um, this one actually is not listed in my shop right now, but it is around. Uh, and look how cute that is. Check out those colors. It goes with my cover. I absolutely love this. Yes, I did hand make this pretty, pretty scarf. So fun times. When did I start loving mermaids? Oh, yentl, yentl. I grew up with two ponds in my life, actually three. Um, so I've got two of them like like if you walk out of my house and go down down the path down the hill there's two ponds down there and then if I go to my grandparents house like 10 minutes down the road they have a giant lake so I grew up in the water like learn to walk learn to swim same time same thing I learned very 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 early to swim and so I grew up with you know the little mermaid came out when I was a little girl and all these mermaid were popular back then and so I had the long hair we would go swimming we would play mermaids in our pond uh, when we got a pool we would play mermaids in the pool and I always had a thing about jumping into the water and spinning around so that my hair flowed around me I had the super long hair for it no one else had it I had it and so I've always been obsessed with mermaids and I'm really really very much a fan of mermaids and you know who else is yeah until you might find this interesting uh sissy is a big fan of mermaids just remember that later when we talk mm -hmm. uh, hit me up with more questions what else do you want to know i've got a few minutes until uh people are allowed around here so i can answer a couple more things before we go and we go do other stuff because there's lots to do tonight right right now i should be writing the sequel to jaded i should i was i took a break so that i could jump on um i may be avoiding it but for those of you that are uh lucas shippers you may like the scene that i'm currently writing i'm just saying sissy's not here so she can't say anything don't tell her Angel. <laughs> you would make an amazing mermaid i absolutely love mermaids thank you and i love mermaids too I'm a big mermaid 
fan. Yes, oh yes, I am. In fact, I may have stalked Mermaid Tales online last week <laughs> with Sissy, actually. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who are wondering, there is an amazing company that makes Mermaid Tales at like four thousand dollars. We can afford that, right? We should. We should all pitch in and get me a Mermaid Tale. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, thank you for all the hearts. I do appreciate that. I do love seeing all the hearts. That helps my engagement rate. So the more you comment, the more you talk to me, and the more you send me hearts, the higher I'm ranked in the Instagram system, and the more Instagram shows my pictures and my live videos to new fans so they can come read my books, get to know me, and hang out with me, which helps me to earn money so I can make a living, so that I can survive and write more books for you. Yes. So just think, every time you give me a heart and every time you leave me a comment, I am one tiny little step closer to being able to survive as an author. Because those of you who don't know, it's really, really hard to make a living as an author because you make, like, a book. A book. So if you don't sell a billion books, you don't make much money. <laughs> I was a huge Ariel fan when I was a kid, Jess says. I used to love having my hair float in the water like hers. Yes, ma'am. Listen, fun story. When I was a little girl, right after the movie came out, I think, I had a doll of Ariel. It was like a, not a Barbie doll, it was like an actual doll. And she had a pull string in the back, and she would say things. And I used to, I distinctly remember sitting underneath my dining room table on my back, looking up at the table, and I would pull her string, and she would talk, and we would play. I distinctly remember that as a small child. <laughs> I I feel like I have seen her in the last, like, decade or so of my life when I was going through some of my old things, and I have, I, def I mean, I didn't get rid of her. She's around somewhere. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to have my parents go up in the attic and look for that sometime, because that would be fun to share on a live broadcast, don't you think? I think so. I used to have all the princess toys, the, the mermaids and the princesses, just like everything. I was very girly, very princess driven when I was young. And so, um, big, big fan of all that. I would love to pull that out and just relive the past, right? I feel like that'd be so much fun. <laughs> Alright, hit me up. Other questions. I've got just a couple minutes left before people show up and I gotta go. So ask me whatever you have left to ask me or make something up. We could talk more about mermaids. That's always fun. I'm gonna stop playing with my scarf now. I've been sitting here playing with it and I just need to stop. <laughs> fun times. Yes, indeed. I'm a big fan of scarves. Do you guys like scarves? If you could wear any type of scarf, what would be that one type of scarf? Like, you've seen me. I wear all sorts of scarves on my live broadcast. I've got my little flower scarves. i got the little frilly things like this. I've got the uh, crocheted things. All sorts of fabulous things. But talk to me. What's your favorite scarf? What's its color? What's its design? Do you do all the fun little twisty things with your scarves? Or do you just kind of like toss it on? I was... Uh, always one of those people who like to do the fun, fancy designs with my scarf back when I was working in a school and teaching. I was just checking to see if anybody was pulling in. Um, and so I would walk into the school and everyone would ask me, how did you do your scarf like that? And I would have to take the scarf off and show them how <laughs> I twisted the scarf up and to all of these fun designs and patterns when I walked in to teach or when I was leaving or when I was going out to for recess duty or whatever. Um, so that was always fun. And yes, I'm definitely playing with my scarf. And yes, my hair is definitely a little bit on the staticky side today. <laughs> totally okay, right? Yes. All right. Well, I am going to go ahead and wrap this baby up because people will be showing up shortly. Like I said, uh, from this point on, I am kind of swamped with things. So I may try to jump on tomorrow. Um, I do have a live broadcast with Find A Way Voices. Who is, or what that is? That is a company that does audiobooks and things like that. So I have a live broadcast with them tomorrow morning, uh, and I will try to jump on around if I can and hang out with you guys. But I know a lot of you will not be available because at that point you will be in school or working. Um, so I wanted to jump on today so we could do a live AMA. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this impromptu AMA. You have great questions as always. If you have more questions or if you're watching the rebroadcast, DM me. I will save those for the next time we jump on a live broadcast and get those answered for you guys. I'm Kay Robinson, author of The Golden Trilogy, The Jaded Duology, and The Legends Chronicles. That was pretty good. You have to admit it. 
Um, <laughs> you can come hang out with me at kmrobinsonbooks.com where I just opened up my world portals where you can see behind the scenes, get exclusive facts, look at fan art, see videos, see photos, look at composite images, uh, and I've got some brand new stuff I'm debuting in 2018, so not too long from now because it's only just a little bit of time until 2018. Can you even believe December is almost over? Insane, right? Totally insane. It's it's like a week until Christmas. Yeah, craziness. Absolutely insane. Um, but you can come hang out with me in 2018 as I debut some brand new things that I've been working on. I've been training myself and teaching myself how to do these new things. I'm still working on it, still learning how to do it. Um, but I'm going to debut it early 2018, assuming I actually learn how to do it the correct way. And I'm not just playing around with it. Um, but new stuff coming is going to be awesome. I also have some really cool stuff on my social media. So you come hang out with me at Cam Robinson Books on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, especially here on Instagram and over on Facebook because I'm debuting some new bot things over on Facebook, including a book recommendation bot. It's going to be really awesome. Alexis, hey, hey, I'm literally signing off, but thanks for joining. <laughs> um... And so you can come hang out with me on social media. You can also hit me up on YouTube where you can see rebroadcasts just like this one. And you can see some exclusive videos. Come over to blog.camrobinsonbooks.com as well where I have all sorts of exclusive character text convos. Um, we're featuring fan art. Like, there's all sorts of craziness over here. So come join me, blog.camrobinsonbooks.com. And let me know what you guys want to see in the next live AMA. I hope you guys have a fabulous afternoon, evening, a day, depending on where you are in the world, because I know you guys are all over the place. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day, rest of your day, uh, whatever time it is for you guys, and a wonderful Christmas. If I do not see you before then, I'm hoping to pop on at least for some Instagram stories. Um, and I will still be posting things, so please let me know how your Christmas is going, and let me know what you're doing, what you're working on, because I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous afternoon, evening, rest of your day, stay inspired, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.